has to program with tons of talent there. He's got to start over. And that mindset of building it from nothing with the dream, the vision that Pat has, and certainly Andy Enfield has proven. Make it a little run here, Bill. With the other Toronto Calise. Calise, Celeste, I, I, I can't pronounce the Canadian names. That's what I'm here for. Thank you. Dave, right? 20 seconds left in the half. And so Jacobs will on court leadership just absolutely critical. And now Joe Young has had to grow into that role. The guy's just been a big time scorer his whole life, but now things have changed. Here's McLaughlin, and he gets it to go with six seconds left. Rebound and bring it back out for somebody else to get it done. McLaughlin to the hole, and it's a two point game. I always had good games after, you know, being six. Sometimes you have to slow down just a step, and that's the step you need to see things clearly. Jordan McLaughlin fires, gets a three, and USC. End of discussion. Can I disagree with you? <laughs> I'm sure you can. Am I allowed? Yes, sir. Not that you don't make a good argument for Stanley Johnson as a freshman, Jordan McLaughlin. Going out here. You think batteries come with those? <laughs> yeah, Jacobs and McLaughlin. As McLaughlin for the lead. And the Trojans go in front. Lots of quality wins, obviously. That's most of the season they've been a lock, considered a lock for the NCAA tournament. Finishing down the stretch, getting wins. Jordan McLaughlin from deep in USC had missing the runner. Loose inside, Pickens. Controlled by Malik Martin. USC on the push. McLaughlin floats to the basket. 14 for... Here's Chase and Randall from deep. And Darian Clark clears for USC. Clark really got up there for that right now. Quick move to the basket by Jordan McLaughlin. Games for the card, number four. He missed nine games with a stress fracture in his upper left leg. And now he's back. Played in each of the last three games since returning from that injury. The floater, pretty play by Jordan McLaughlin. Since then, they've got three and eight in the last 11. USC, the youngest power conference program in the nation. And they're the only Division One team this season that has not started an upperclassman. Here's a three near the baseline and splash right away. Singer, nice feed, open man, down by the rim. The Barons can't convert. McLaughlin, what a pretty take that was. Seen right through, there's Barons. That's what Cal's got to do, no matter if it's a zone or a man, as Jordan McLaughlin pulls up. Last year was a struggle for USC. Same story this year. What a drive by Matthews, but not close. He lowered his shoulder. Little runner McLaughlin. To go to that jump hook. He can make that shot. Carwater lets it fly again. Front iron. Tempo really picking up. Reinhardt. McLaughlin straight away three momentum shift under held on to by the Trojans five to shoot now McLaughlin straight away deep deep three and he buries balls for drawing about two or three USC Trojan defenders which made it a lot easier for David Kravitz Trims will lead to three McLaughlin finds his seam pulls up and he is yeah, he's, go he's going off he's officially hot USC. Wow. Sees an opening tape that wow. spins it in. Oh, uh, this game's a little bit more polished. I would probably say a better overall shooter. But still, I mean, at the next level, he's got to still work on uh, his shot and handling the ball. No question about it. But, you know, right now, Kevin, you asked me that. The, the NBA right now is the deepest I've ever seen at that point guard position. Speaking of point yeah. guards, how about that from yeah. the uh, freshman? Oh, Reinhardt getting it done on the defensive end of the floor. That happens for you lots of times when you have it going on the offensive end. You start focusing in and dialing in on the defensive end. Inspiring. McLaughlin. Gets a screen. Looks to take it all the way. Foul! And the basket counts! Through team effort for Oregon State. You're not seeing the same guy leading scoring night in and night out. Almost able to can't get the handle on it. Off and left alone. Laughlin for three. Quick release and drills it. Well, you know what? And Hopkins didn't do a good job hedging the screen and turning Duvivier back. Stewart got through everybody. 
Laughlin comes out with the loose ball. And throw. USC after a one for seven shooting start. And Oregon has only missed a shot in seven attempts. McLaughlin gets off a three and slides down the rebound. That's a deep three. Heat check. Got numbers to see if they can handle it. McLaughlin will pull off in transition. Oh, Beautiful what a shot. confidence. And Cook able to throw it down. Well, there's some confusion as to what they're doing defensively. Uh, it might be a triangle in two. Post guys are standing in the basket, not defending, and perimeter guys are guarding the perimeter guys. McLaughlin is the answer. Three. That was a deep three. Yeah. Several offensive opportunities. Passed up a shot for that, and they get it done. To finish that thought, Kevin. Athletic director. <laughs> I have lots of thoughts. Here's McLaughlin on the drive. Nice English to give USC. Whoa, great defense here. Very concise tonight. I, I guess I should take it when I can get it. Here's McLaughlin. I'll watch it again here, please. 11, nearing the media timeout at the 8-minute mark, and a steal by McLaughlin, taking it away from Allen. And the Trojans are back with a nine. And really thrust Stanford back into the national spotlight. I mean, it meant a lot to me. Uh, I don't think I even realized how much it meant to me until uh, until this year, looking at this team and seeing how proud I am. Allen with the... Headiness to get inside and be active and go after the offensive board. Sometimes people tend to drift away, but Allen and Stanford crashing the glass. He had 14 at UCLA. It's 13 here in the first half. Jordan McLaughlin from the corner gets a three. He leads it by 13. The shot selection is really done. The Trojans in the last few possessions. They've had some four shots in traffic. The wide open threes haven't been there. The Cardinals definitely stepped up about that. They just got to learn how to share the ball. Pretty drive by Jordan McLaughlin. That jump shot working, and then he puts it on the deck. I don't see many guys his size moving that well with the ball. Here's McLaughlin. Tough pull up. Got it. Anthony Brown. Missing a three. Here come the Trojans. McLaughlin ahead of the pack. Doing the honors at the rim. And you see sharing the basketball. Utah very good at finding the best possible shot for their offense. McLaughlin, though, with the smooth. You had the opposite effects on players when you talked about them. There's Yovanovich missing McLaughlin there to clean up the spill. You know, Pachinski really is a, a solid, you know, backup when you start thinking about what Pirtle does. Oh, beautiful move by McLaughlin. Program. And Don may have come a long way tonight. I steal McLaughlin. Here comes the freshman to the wreck. Tough finish. And he'll have a chance at a, a little bit of wild, a little while to establish who your finishers are going to be. Who's going to step up at the end of games and make plays? I don't think Vermont's quite gotten that yet. McLaughlin, boy, just gliding through the ball, knocked around the paint. Marchetti couldn't grab it. Shot clock at one, so Bell Haynes has to force a nice job just to get it to the rim. Marchetti ahead of the field. McLaughlin beats him down the paint and hits a tough layup. USC has to understand where Aaron Brown is because he is a dangerous threat on that wing. BC 300. And 31st in the country in three point shooting percentage this year. McLaughlin forced it and Clark puts a step on Odeo. Can't finish, but it is tipped up in his, including a year ago. Penetration by Brown, but then Owens is rejected. Quickly the other way, it's Marchetti. McLaughlin for three, and we've seen a little. Army has scored exactly 73 points in each of its last three games. Two losses and a win. Man-to-man -man defense from Army primarily. And Wilson starting on Re Reinhardt, so those two matched up on both sides. Darian Clark could be a factor tonight. Zero for USC. First shot goes, a little runner shots for West Point. And a 52 percenter from the line coming in knocks that one down. McLaughlin all the way, yes. Uh, more than friends that are here, you just can't concentrate, can't lock in enough to really have a good game. McLaughlin giving US 13 and Reinhardt. Now Ivanovich. Serious drought for Army. 
McLaughlin open. Bang! See if it bothers USC. McLaughlin's a cool cat, though, isn't he? Well, you either got you have to decide whether you're going to break it to score or just break it to run half court offense. And that time, McLaughlin just broke it to get to the half court. And then takes it to the rack and he scores. That's why. You know, seeing everybody, making sure everybody's got their tickets, all the stuff that goes along with it, sometimes it's really hard to have a good game. Jacobs keeps it alive here. But Reinhardt so active out there. McLaughlin, a rainbow banks it in. They hold their offense around that they're supposed to make. Can't get anything to go from behind the line. McLaughlin weaving off balance, scores, and he is fouled. Four out of nine. But the rebound, they need it. McLaughlin's three goes. And in the conference, Jalen Moore comes back with the equalizer there for Utah State. Big hair, big game <laughs> for Moore. Oh, yeah. that, that is a terrific afro. They, actually, Utah State has some great hair on the bench as well. We'll see them as they come into the game. A little matchup zone for Utah State here, the first possession. Second possession, I should say. Kate Reinhardt, McLaughlin out front. McLaughlin knocks down the triple. Collette cutting through the lane. Now they get it to him on the bounce. Collette turn and face to more baseline. And Elijah Stewart goes up and pulls it down with one hand. Better attention to detail in that possession for USC. In transition. It's his first shot of the game. Utah State now with a, a hybrid starting five. Harris was not in there, but well, I guess Bolton stays on the court. So three starters on the court for the Aggies. Well, they're not going to go away. And in USC at that last time out down to 40% from the field. So they got off to the hot start, but haven't been able to continue it like we wondered. And so can they get it going again? McLaughlin needs to hit one, and he does. And he's and keeps Utah State close under five minutes to go first half. More the proverbial stretch four for Utah State. And you got to get out there and guard him or he's going to hurt you. As he answers right. Make it six now. Six turnovers, Utah State. McLaughlin. He can really shoot. Able to score. He just works hard and gets to his spots and scores. 28 points now for David Collette, McLaughlin. Nice touch. That's a great job by Payne, understanding I can draw two defenders, find an open man. You see McLaughlin Whoa. finishing at the hoop. Unbelievable. Guy is also a distributor. If, look, if he tried to shoot every time down floor, he could get 20 points a game. Reinhardt takes it away, bounce past McLaughlin, up and in. He's got six of their last eight points. Yeah, that's a good defensive possession, but sometimes better offense always wins. McLaughlin. I say Mordor is earning some more minutes right now. I mean, doing a great job offensively, defensively. He's always in position, rebounds well, and then attacking the offensive glass. And on the offensive glass, just got to keep things alive, keep the possession alive. McLaughlin for a three. Yes, sir! You can hit it from out there. Doesn't this time. Payne jumps right back. And his rough night continues. Sometimes you jump into defenders looking for contact. You don't get it. It's hard to make the oh, shot. Boy. Look at the fast break points here. It's 17-2. to two. Boy, 28% shooting free throws. And if you want to extrapolate it out, 31% shooting twos, but 41% shooting threes for Loyola Marymount. Best thing they could do is just keep hoisting him up from beyond the arc. Yes. And don't go to the line, no matter what. McLaughlin! Oh. Long with down low to a jet. Off the glass, that's too hard. The tip won't go. Trojans coming the other way. McLaughlin off the window. There is Colin Neal that you see sitting on the bench. And then New Mexico go into this zone. They used to go into this a little bit last year, not much, but something that uh, Craig Neal has in his repertoire. And I think it's a good move against a young team that maybe they were in a good flow against a man-to-man. -man. McLaughlin steps Whoa. into one and it looks pretty there. Go. And they stayed with it. Moses Morgan missing in the rebound. The Link Marchetti in USC is Lanero Johnson back in the game for the Titans. To the basket, and there's game. 
Johnson with 15, Morgan with 10 for Cal State Fullerton. Jovanovic with 12, Reinhardt with 9 to lead USC. Off balance, McLaughlin. three turnovers so difficult to win games if you turn the ball over 23 times now let's see what you do here in the open court under control be solid with the ball Reinhardt to McLaughlin a nice defensive effort uh, by Tennessee Tech to block it out of bounds Javon McKay going up to get it but as he kept the position uh, Martin pretty good rebound just not powerful enough to take it all the way up to the rack with steal here now let's see what they do under control back to McLaughlin for the lay-in nice that's the way you're supposed to do figures Eleven minutes now to play. This is where it went sideways for SC against Portland State on opening night. McLaughlin can make it out. So they made one. Boy, they made one all night. Tennessee awesome. Tech shot seven three pointers a game last year. McLaughlin. Yeah, yeah, that was a great no in these types of games because in some way they're, they're momentum centers. You, know, you get the momentum and going in your way, you take over. Driving to the basket. And yeah, McLaughlin already has two points and two assists, and he's got the ball at the top. Ivanovic, who seems like a veteran out there because we saw so much of him last year, but he's still just a sophomore. Big high screen. Jacobs again to McLaughlin, goes off glass. Wow. How yes, he's got it down to two points, the no-look pass inside. Shot dances off, Braxton Tucker missed it. And SC can go in front here with a three. Crowd getting excited, there it is. Reinhardt wanted to pull the trigger. McLaughlin will for the lead. And then try to D up on them once they have it. I think you got to make it uncomfortable for Portland State. Right now, they're too comfortable here in the Galen Center. You have to make it uncomfortable. I pick up, extend that defense. SC is a much deeper team than Portland State. There's no way around oh, it. Oh, McLaughlin with the run. Th 32 in minutes in high school, yeah. Uh, 32 minutes and you don't play defense. I never played defense in high school. <laughs> you get to college, all of a sudden, it's a different game. So it's not just fitness, it's the mental fitness.